Hey guys, it's Lacey here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you how to share your interactive classrooms and activities with your students in Google Classroom. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people say that they have a preference as to the method that they use to share different documents with their students. What I'm going to tell all of you is that it depends on, I would say, two things. One is you, your preference, what you find easiest, and the second is the type of activity or, or document that you're trying to share with them. And I will explain. So I have here an activity that I made. It's, it's a game, okay? So um, if I just quickly just throw this into the present mode, you'll see it's a money counting game. So students have to look at the ice cream that's circled and they have to decide which is the correct amount, okay? And then you click on the amount and it says, good job. Okay, um, if I click the wrong one, it's gonna give me an error message. Okay, um, so a couple ways that you can share documents are one by publishing it to the web and then using that link. You can also make sure that it's in view only mode and you can just share that document in uh, the classwork section of your Google Classroom and I'm going to show you right here. Okay, um, so for example, for, for that actual game, I can't download it as a PDF and then upload it that way because it's not going to work. So you see here, I have already done that and I wanna show you what happens. Absolutely nothing. I cannot click, I cannot play the game. So I can't save it as a PDF. Okay, it's also not gonna work by, and let me go back and show you. People say that they can go to file, download, I'm sorry, publish to the web. Okay, problem is here is that this is gonna to want to switch your slides every three seconds. So that function that you have in there where you have certain things linked to other slides, it's not going to work. So my only option for something like this is to go into share. Okay, I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna go back to the classroom. Okay, and I'm going to go to create assignment. And then I'm just going to type in game. Okay, I would obviously write more than that if this was a post for my actual class. And from here, you're going to go to add. You're going to type in, or you're going to click on link. I'm going to paste my link there, and then I'm going to hit add link. Okay, you'll see that it's going to pop up. Okay, so students are just going to be clicking on it. Okay, you make sure your document is in view only mode. Okay, I'll show you quickly how to do that. So here we are, it says anyone can view. Okay, so it's in view only. You wanna make sure that it's not on edit or change. Okay, so from here, you can actually just leave it as students can view. Uh, you can also make a copy for each student if you want them to each have a copy. I mean, that's completely up to you. And then you just hit assign. Okay, so I, this is like, I have like a couple dummy classrooms and I suggest that you do the same. So for example, I have a couple different Gmail accounts. I have a Google Classroom for each of them. And then I sign up as a student on the classroom. So when I post something, I can play around with it before my students actually get it and I can figure out the best way to post it. And I do always recommend that for, for everyone else. So here I'm just gonna refresh because I wanna make sure that it pops up the way it's supposed to. And then I just wanna show you here, if I click on it, it will open. And then you just have to make sure you put in your instructions for students to put it into present mode. And if I put it into present mode, you'll see once this pops up that I'm actually able to play the game the way it's intended to be played. So it does work. Okay, so that's one way. Uh, another idea for all of you, so here I have like your typical interactive classroom, okay? It says click the books to enter practice activities or stories, okay? So I have embedded the links for those activities in each one of the books, okay? Something like this, you can download it as a PDF. So I'm gonna actually do that, file, download as a PDF, okay? I can also, publish to the web, okay? And that three seconds is not going to matter because it's only one slide, okay? And then here's the link. So I can copy that link. I can go back to the classroom and I can go to create assignments 
And again, I'm just gonna type in some letters. I'm gonna put link, paste that in, and then add link. Okay, and then this will take the students straight to, and I will hit assign and I will go back as a student just to show all of you. Okay, so here we go. Let me just refresh the page. Okay, so now, okay, here's that craziness that I just wrote. If I click on it, this was published to the web, it automatically pops up in present mode. And if I click on one of these, okay, this is actually a video I just linked something to it just to show you that the links actually work. Okay, if I want to also demonstrate what it would look like to put that PDF in. Again, we'll just put some craziness in here. You're gonna hit add, you're gonna to wanna to hit file. And then you'll see upload from your device. Okay, for enrichment classroom, it's right there, my PDF. I'm gonna upload that. And I'm gonna hit assign. Once again, I'm just gonna hop back over as a student. Okay, and I'm just gonna refresh the page so that the new activity pops up. Okay, here it is. So now as a PDF, I just want you all to see that I'm still able to click the links. So for a one page with something like that, you're able to, to do the same thing, okay? And then one more, I have here an author study. Now this is an author study slash web quest that I made for uh, Laura Numeroff. So she's the author of all of those if you give a mouse a cookie books. And so I actually have places on here where I want students to write. And there are places on here where students need to be able to obviously click on the, the mice on each one of the pages to go to a website and find the answers to the questions that I posed. So this is like a week's worth of work. Okay, so I have links and I also have boxes for them to fill in. For something like this, again, I'm going to want to go, I'm going to take the link from here, make sure that it's in view only so they can view. I'm going to copy the link and then as a teacher, I'm going to go back, I'm going to hit create and for this one, because of the multiple slides and because of um, the way that I, I need this to work, um, I want the students to be able to write in it. I'm going to give it a title, type in some instructions. I'm going to put this in as a link. And for this one, I am definitely, definitely going to want to make a copy for each student because each student is going to have to write on the slides. If you do not make a copy for each one of your students, they're all going to trying to be write in, writing in the same document and you definitely do not want that to happen. Okay, so I'm just going to hit sign here. So it's assigning. Okay. And obviously that's not saved with my other, my other email. So I'm just going to quickly save that. And I made myself an editor, obviously. Okay, now when I go back to my teacher classroom here and I hit create and assign, this time it'll definitely work. Okay, make a copy for each student and then assign. Here we go, perfect. And just for the last time, I will go back over to my student account just so that you can see that it definitely works. Okay, the seeing is believing. Okay, let me just refresh here. Okay, here it comes. Okay, so I can always throw this into present mode or not. Okay, but if you notice now, I can click in the box and I can type my answers, okay? I can also click on the mouse and the page where I find the answer to this question will pop up. So this is, these are several different ways that you can 
share activities or interactive classrooms with your students in Google Classroom. But like I said, it's all about preference and it's all about what you want your students to be able to do with the documents. So I hope this video helped all of you. If you have questions, feel free to comment down below. But please, as always, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.